First day of padded practice for the New England Patriots. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar, who is back at Gillette Stadium and was finally able to lay his eyes on the 2020 Patriots. Let's talk rookies because Bill Belichick in a press conference last week was saying how it's extremely difficult for them to try to get up to speed learn the NFL, learn the Patriots offense or defense uh, in this short amount of time. How did they look to you? Let's start off with their number one pick, Kyle Duggar. Was he involved and how did he look? Heavily involved. I think that was the most surprising thing as we heard Belichick go on this soliloquy about how it's so difficult for the rookies to learn and get up to speed in such a short training camp. And I come out to practice on Monday and Kyle Duggar is out there pretty much every single snap. And I'm like, what's what's going on here, Bill? So the coolest part to me for practice you know, out of practice era was watching Duggar talk to Devin McCourty after every single play. And the two of them just sort of talking out exactly what Duggar was seeing, what he was doing, where he was going in his in his coverage or in the running play, and watching Devin really teach him and coach him right there on the field was very, very cool. Duggar playing that tight end stopper, Chung type role in the defense with McCourty still playing free safety. And there was definitely moments where you could see, okay, this guy can really, really play. You know, he's dropping underneath a nice uh, – kind of extended curl, comeback curl route, I would say, from uh, from Damari Bird, I believe it was. And Duggar fell right underneath the route, took the first read away from the quarterback, forced Cam to cycle through his reads and check the ball down. And, of course, the defensive sideline was all up in arms about that and extremely excited for Duggar that he made that play. So a couple of notable plays for Duggar today. Definitely love seeing the coaching from Devin McCourty. And it's clear that this Patriots coaching staff wants Duggar on the field as soon as possible. Well, two guys that also have high expectations this season is the tight end duo, Devin Asiasi and Dalton Keene. What did you see from them out there today? Like hockey lines, Sierra. In and out, in and out, in and out. Those two guys must have ran more miles today, more feet, whatever you want to call it, than any other two guys on the practice field because they were involved and they were in on almost every single play. Now, Ryan Izzo did mix in a little bit at the tight end position. He actually had a pretty decent day, but Asiasi and Keen are getting a huge workload. I think what we're seeing is with this crash course for the rookies, the Patriots are just, we need to throw them into the fire and they need to just learn on the fly. And the best thing that we can do, because we have no preseason games, is give them live action reps and practice. So that, I think that's what you're seeing with those top three guys. And Asiasi had some good blocks in the running game, as did Keen. Keen almost connected with Brian Hoyer on a seam ball is very very close both guys also caught some balls underneath the defense as well just some check down type plays but it was the run blocking i think that the coaches really were applauding and really excited about and man they could not have been more involved those three guys duggar and uche too duggar uche and the two tight ends were just all over the field all practice long here sierra anthony jennings absent from the first day of padded practice and you said Kicker Justin Rohrwasser didn't look too good in his first padded practice. No, he went three for five on kicks, and two of them were kind of iffy, you know, just snuck them inside the goalpost. A little bit shaky. I think the biggest problem for me was the first one went wide left. He came back and made the second one just barely, and the third one was wide right. So he's kind of still trying to find that accuracy right down the middle of the goalpost. And the Patriots, this is the first time that that uh, Roy Russell has kicked in front of anybody other than the special teams coaches and Bill Belichick. So the media didn't see him last week. You know, the in-house media didn't see him, Paul Perillo. And now finally on Monday, we got a, a look on, uh, with our own eyes at Roy Wasser, and it was a little bit shaky. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's just one day of practice, but if it continues like this, you know, eventually you would think that they are going to have to bring in some veteran competition. We'll continue to keep you updated from training camp on our website at clnsmedia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.